Well guys, we're gonna take you along. We don't just do YouTube so that others will watch, but we wanna watch our history, our family history as it uh, unfolds. And Peyton, our second oldest grandson is on the farm. So come along. He's down there with his daddy. We're gonna unload some horses here. Doesn't Eho look amazing? Doesn't look like the neglected, abused horse that we got. Baden, what do you think, buddy? <laughs> they stepped in mud and they're like, whoa. But you can tell, sorry, the semi just can't went by on the freeway, but you can tell that with all the rain, it's hard to keep them clean so there's lots of grass coming up out here and this will be just a good place for them to run and get used to each other until things dry out at the house even though there's plenty of mud here there's also plenty of places for them to dry out what do you think Peyton hey Peyton you got a mosquito on your forehead Oh, daddy's gonna get it. Oh, daddy got it. Should we go to the house? See the horses? He's learned how to get the semi trucks to honk, huh? How do you get them to honk? Do it. Tell them, tell them honk. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> get him. Get it. Get him. Uh, he didn't see us. All right, maybe we'll stop on the bridge. So every fall I loan out my billy goats and then I get weaned babies back. And this little boy's coming back to the farm. What do you think, Peyton? Is this fun? Peyton, what do you think, bud? Go get the goats. That white one might get him. <laughs> Did he give you a kiss? <laughs> he 
He's like, get out of here, go. Go get him, Peter. Go get him, Peter. Mike's been getting stuck a lot lately, but look who got stuck this time. Oh, it was Peyton. Peyton oh, Peyton, it's all your fault. All right, we'll get you pulled out. Oh, Kaylee and Peyton, what do you think? Can we get out? Can we get Grandma out? It has been so fun having Peyton around this week. Yeah, it has. It's been amazing. Grandma's got her fix of four-wheeler rides with the uh, with Peyton. And Cameron's coming this weekend too, so I get to take both of them for rides. How cool is that? Anyway, we've got someone that came, and they can't afford to feed a couple horses, and we're going to try to take them and find them homes. They're beautiful, but we're going to unload them here, so... some good homes for them but I have an idea I just haven't told my wife and daughter about it yet what do you guys think his idea is because I have no clue so if you know comment below so I've got an idea it's so fun having Peyton here on the farm this week but his dad is super helpful and loves animals himself. And so I'm gonna let he and Kaylee kind of see the process that I go through when I get a horse in to get it ready to go to a, a home, a new home. So let's go see what we can do here. All right, so this is my son-in-law Roy and my beautiful daughter Kaylee. She stole my hat while she was down, down here earlier. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay, here's my idea guys. I'm gonna show you what I do when I get some horses that need a new home. First thing I like to do is deworm them. So I ask Roy to grab some dewormers, but these wild horses, it's gonna be kind of tough to, you can't just go stick a dewormer in their mouth. So we're gonna try to get them down in this. Yeah, we're gonna try to put them in the bottom pasture down or the bottom corral where my my chute is. So let's, uh. Roy, if you want to run up and lock those horses out in the pasture, and Kaylee, go ahead and open the round pen, and we're going to try to scare them in there. We shut that gate? Yep, I got that, that gate. gate. Yep. Okay. We're just going to kind of go through the process, and they're going to help me out. And, and uh, Roy wants to mess with them, and 
hopefully we can find them good homes. Kaylee opened the round pan. And this is what I do with wild horses. You've got to first be able to catch them. So I've gone through this process many times. If I can put them in that chute, we'll be in good shape. You'd think they were trained to do this. Look at this. I've got them trained, Roy. <laughs> Here we go, just a sec. Let me uh, shut this. I'm not a wimp, just because I'm pregnant. <laughs> I'm a wimp and I'm not pregnant, so. All right. So we're gonna try to scare them in here. It's been so muddy lately that this is still a mud, mud bog here. When I first get horses in, these were supposedly wild horses that had been captured. And then the people that had them couldn't afford to feed them, but to just let them back out in the wild some people think why don't you just let them back out in the wild as if that's a good thing the problem is in the wild they'll continue to reproduce because that young horse is a stallion and right now there happens to be lots of grass because of the monsoons but pretty soon here it'll be winter time and they won't be, the grass will, will die, there'll be snow, and it'll be a mess. Horses starve to death, they get hit on the roads. It, it's not good, just, it looks great on the movies. If you watch Spirit, it looks great to let the horses go in the wild. But anyway, here we go. So the first thing I do with these wild horses is to deworm them. Look at this tail, how it's all ratty like that. That means that she's been backing up to trees or fences or whatever and scratching her tail because she has worms. So Roy, if you want to deworm her, that would be awesome. She still has her baby teeth in. Yeah, yeah. She's not even quite two years old. I'll bet yeah, she's, okay. I'll bet she's turned, well, I think they come in at two and a half, actually. Okay. So I, the fact that they aren't in yet, she's not quite two and a half. But she's probably two and she's big enough, you could start riding her. Okay. Look at, she's calming down quick. And it looks like they put a halter on her. See how I saw that. It rubbed, yeah. I saw that rub. A sore there. You can see the markings up here too, along the right under her eye, up over. But well, we want to see if she's broke to lead or if she's just had a halter on. So let's go grab a halter real quick. I'll go grab one. Okay, so Roy has this little girl dewormed. We know her age. Kaylee's rubbing all over her. And Roy's gonna put a halter on now. And um, Katie, just watch if she moves her, her face real fast, you don't wanna break your arm. Okay. So just be real careful. Okay. Um, you can lift that over to your husband, that's perfect. So 
these people had these wild horses. Their intention was to get them gentle and to get them broke, I'm sure, but they didn't get that done. This one has obviously been messed with a little bit because it has marks on its face, but we don't know if it's broke to lead or not. So that's our next thing is to see if it's broke to lead. And so they couldn't afford to feed them, but they're beautiful horses and I think we can help find them homes, especially for this one. So, all right, um, with this one, Roy, as we let it out, let's see if it's broke to lead, okay? If it fights you too much, you can let it go so you don't hurt yourself. It's funny how it's buddies right here. So actually, if it does lead, we'll bring it out here and tie it up because then its buddy will be right next to it and it won't freak out, so. So go ahead and, uh, go ahead and untie this real quick. I got that. And then it's super heavy, Kaylee, but lift up on it and swing it over. Roy will be able to tell in a hurry if it leads or not. Yeah. It acts like it maybe does, we'll see. It doesn't lead super good, but it's not pulling. Oops, as I said that. There you go. You can be messing with it out here while we get the next one in the chute if you want. Okay, Kaylee, we're gonna get the next one in the chute. So, you can walk through the mud again if you want. <laughs> Just kidding. Go, go right where it's going and then you won't get in the mud. Oops, that, that gate's unlocked back there, but it doesn't know that, I don't think. There you go, go around it and lock that gate real quick. Okay, this works for, if you just know how horses work, it wants to be by its buddy, so it, oh. Now this one's more skittish than its friend. Watch out, Kitty, don't get kicked. If it kicks back, it could break your arm. Oops. Just a sec. Okay, now don't get, don't get kicked, so be real careful. Okay. Maybe wrap it around twice, like that, and then tie it really tight what's a good knot a, a tight one <laughs> i don't care what kind what do you think roy is it broke to lead or i mean could you lead it in a circle or it hasn't pulled back on you too bad that's not a tight one it's brand. yeah that's... she's doing good Just stop for a minute and see if you can pet on both sides without her kind of fleeing from the situation. So. This horse has been messed with before, which is awesome. But Roy and Kaylee are gonna mess with her more and we're gonna see if we can find her a good home. Right now, people just can't afford to feed their horses. The wind's so bad, I'm sorry. I don't know how much of this we're gonna be able to show, but. People can't afford their horses and they approach us to see if we can find them good homes. And uh, one like this, I think we'll be able to find a good home in a hurry. So if you're interested in this little girl, let us know. I will warn you, there's a good chance she's pregnant, even though she's not even two and a half. The fact that she's been running with a, a stallion in the wild, there's a good chance she's pregnant. All right, so now Kaylee's back here working with the more wild one. Yeah.